Marijuana stocks have been in the news a lot lately, so what's the big deal? Increasingly, there's been social and regulatory acceptance of marijuana for both its medicinal properties and recreational use. With legalization, or pending legalization, of both medical and recreational marijuana in certain states in the United States and nationally in places like Canada and Germany, the growth potential of marijuana cultivation and distribution is big business. Just how big is it? Medical marijuana, which is used to treat issues such as chronic pain, the side effects of chemotherapy, and even epilepsy, is estimated to become a 55 billion US dollar market globally by 2025. Canada is a global leader in building the infrastructure and regulations for the medical marijuana market through its access to cannabis for medical purposes regulations. Many Canadian companies are among the largest medical marijuana companies in the world, but the bigger opportunity for these marijuana-focused producers is the opportunity to be the primary providers of recreational marijuana in Canada. The federal government has pledged that later in 2018, Canadians will be allowed to purchase marijuana for recreational use without a doctor's prescription. This would put marijuana on a level playing field with other legal vices such as tobacco and alcohol. According to Statistics Canada, the size of the non-legal recreational market in 2017 was $4.6 billion. Deloitte estimates that with full legalization, the direct size of the recreational market could be anywhere from $4.9 billion to $8.7 billion. That's just the value of the direct consumption of marijuana. The secondary value of the market, when factoring in other parts of the industry such as paraphernalia and service companies that support marijuana producers, could be in excess of $22.6 billion per year. Initially, the primary beneficiaries of this industry are likely to be the established Canadian medical marijuana producers, who have track records of producing and distributing marijuana that meet Health Canada standards. Many of them will likely have access to financing to allow them to expand, potentially globally. Many of these medical marijuana companies could also benefit from consolidation, not only from within the industry, but also potentially from companies in larger industries, such as alcohol and tobacco, or even pharmaceuticals. Horizons offers two different ETFs that provide access to this growing investment opportunity. The Horizons Marijuana Life Sciences Index ETF trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol HMMJ. HMMJ is the first marijuana-focused ETF in the world. It gives investors exposure to an index of North American listed securities that have significant business operations related to the marijuana industry. HMMJ not only includes the growers and cultivators, but also biopharmaceuticals and subsidiary support firms such as lighting technology and fertilizer companies. The Horizons Emerging Marijuana Growers Index ETF trades on the Equitas Neo Exchange under the ticker symbol HMJR. HMJR provides exclusive exposure to companies that are directly involved in the cultivation and distribution of cannabis-related products. HMJR focuses on the emerging companies in the marijuana sector, which are typically companies that initially have a market capitalization between $50 million and $500 million. The key benefits of using an ETF to get exposure to these stocks include Diversification Diversification reduces concentration issuer risk, but can also limit the upside potential of owning certain individual stocks. Liquidity You can buy and sell these ETFs anytime. Scale ETFs buy many issuers at once. Potential Yield both HMMJ and HMJR may provide a monthly yield through securities lending. It's rare that investors get to take part in the early stages of a new sector of the economy. HMMJ and HMJR provide simple and diversified ways to get exposure to this exciting growth opportunity. To learn more, contact Horizons ETFs.